Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're gonna to talk about absolute value. Let's get started. Which animal can travel farther away from sea level? A bald eagle? or a whale. All right, let's try to figure this out. Now first, bald eagles have been seen gliding at heights of up to 4,500 meters above sea level. Now, what about the whale? Well, it all depends on the type of whale. And the whale we're gonna talk about today is called the Cuvier beat whale. Right there. Now this funny looking whale is really, really special. Scientists saw that it was able to dive 3,000 meters below sea level. This mammal holds the record for the deepest dive and the longest dive. It was underwater for over two hours. Let's draw a quick little number line. Because I'm talking about sea level, instead of a horizontal number line, I'm gonna draw a vertical number line. And zero is gonna represent sea level. Okay. Well, above sea level is obviously gonna be my bald eagle. Below sea level is gonna be this whale, uh, 3,000 meters below sea level. Now below, I'm gonna write that as negative negative 3,000. So the question is, which one is farther away from sea level? Okay. Hopefully with the number line, you can see that, oh, definitely the bald eagle is farther away because this distance is greater than this distance. Now, when we're talking about distances away from zero, we're talking about absolute value. So let's get into absolute value and some examples. Our absolute value of a number is just the distance a number is from zero on a number line. Okay, It's the distance that number is from zero on a number line. Now, distance is really important because when you think about it, we'd never have negative distances, right? If someone asks you, how far did you run yesterday? You're never gonna say, oh, I ran negative five miles. That makes no sense. So same thing here. When you take the absolute value of a number, you're gonna get something that's positive. A distance is positive. So the way we write absolute value is with two vertical lines. So for example, Okay, this I would read as the absolute, these two lines means the absolute value of three. Okay, the absolute value of three is three, right? And you can think about it, how far away from zero is three on a number line? Well, it's three away, okay? That's why that's three. Let's get into our first example. Okay, example number one. A, find the absolute value of seven. So we're talking about how far away is seven from zero on a number line. So I'm gonna draw a number line. We're here at seven. The question is, what is this distance? From zero to seven, how far away is that seven from zero? Well, I can count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? But it's pretty obvious that it is seven, okay? Seven away. So. That means the absolute value, right? We write it like that. And one quick tip, make sure that these vertical lines are longer than your numbers. If not, if you're not kind of careful, it can really quickly look like 171, okay? So again, make sure that when you write absolute value, those numbers are, or those vertical lines are longer than your numbers. So the absolute value of seven is seven, okay? Let's look at B. 
Find the absolute value of negative two and a half. Same thing, I'm gonna draw a quick number line. So negative two and one half would be halfway between negative two and negative three. So it's gonna be right about there. Negative two and one half. Again, what is the distance from negative two and a half to zero? So from here to here, okay. Again, you could count, but hopefully you notice that that distance is two and a half. It's two and a half away. Means the absolute value of negative two and a half is two and a half. Positive two and a half, right? These are distances, it's gonna be positive, okay? So hopefully you notice here something. The absolute value of a positive number stayed positive. It's a positive distance. But then when we took the absolute value of a negative number, it became positive, right? Because distance need to be positive, okay? Here's some to try on your own. Okay, example two. Compare two and absolute value of negative five. Uh, well, first, we need to figure out what the absolute value of negative five is. Now, we could draw a number line again and find our distance, but hopefully you're starting to get it. How far away is negative five from zero? Well, the absolute value of negative five is five. So my answer is two is less than the absolute value of negative five. Let's look at B. Compare the absolute value of negative four and the absolute value of four. Well, the absolute value of negative four is gonna be four, right? Negative four is four away from zero. That's four. Uh, and the absolute value of four is also four, okay. which means the absolute value of negative four is equal to the absolute value of four. Okay. Here's some more to try on your own. All right, example three. Order the values from least to greatest. Uh, so we have a lot of absolute values here, and we've got a couple new things uh, we haven't talked about yet. So in order to order these, I first need to know what the value is. So I need to figure out these absolute values. So first, what is the absolute value of negative 5? Well, that's going to be 5, right? It's 5 away from 0. 3 is still 3. The absolute value of 2. That's two away from zero, so that is two. Now here, notice where the negative sign is, okay? It's not inside the absolute value, it's on the outside. So we would read this as the negative absolute value of three. So first, what you need to do is just find the absolute value of three, and then you add your negative after that. So the absolute value of three is three, then we put the negative sign in front, so we get negative 3. Last one here. The negative absolute value of negative 4. So again, ignore this negative for a second, and let's concentrate on the absolute value. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4, right? Negative 4 is 4 away from 0. But then we put a negative in front. So this becomes negative 4. Okay, so now if we're going to order these, obviously my negative 4 is the least, which means this is the least. So the negative absolute value of negative 4 is first, then negative 3 here, so that's negative absolute value of 3. Then we've got 2, which was absolute value of 2. Then we've got 3, which is just 3. And finally, the greatest is going to be the absolute value of negative 5. So there is my order from least to greatest. Okay, Here's some more to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.